All right, welcome back to Desktop Inventions. Today we have lasers and we have cats. We're gonna see how those two mix together. There's a laser. Not very cool, huh? Yeah, there we go. Lasers are cool, right? Still think we're not doing this, right? Oh yeah, we have laser. So there's a uh, focusing on the lens here. Let's see how that works. Oh yeah, there we go. Now it's a point. Now check out our super convenient portable laser. Let's put this together and find some cats. This is so convenient and portable. I don't know why they don't just sell them like this. Oh yeah, chase the laser. I can control cats with lasers. Come here. Go away. Come back here. Go away. They're completely under my control. So as you could tell, swinging around that laser is a lot of manual work. So the obvious next step is to hook that up to some servo motors with a joystick to control it. So that's what I've done here with the little Arduino nano board. You can see the up and down motion controls this servo motor and the left and right controls the other servo motor. So now I will add some hot glue and we should have a controllable laser pointer. Look at that ingenuity. Two servo motors with a laser turret glued directly onto the breadboard. Big nice mess of wires. That's perfect. All right, let's test it out and see if it works. Oh, we've got a laser. Oh, that's great. It works. Now let's see how the cats react to it. <laughs> Pretty funny. Yeah, that's working pretty good. <laughs> Seems like I'll have to adjust the joystick a little bit because when I press up, it points straight up in the air and nobody can reach it when it's on the ceiling. So I'll have to tune that down a bit so maybe it only goes 30 degrees up. All right, I've made some adjustments so the laser doesn't go 180 degrees. Now it only goes 30 degrees left and right and 30 degrees up and down. And one problem I've seen is sometimes it gets uh, this jitteriness due to the unstable signal. So let's look at adding some pull down resistors to fix that. There we go. The pull down resistors seem to have fixed the jitteriness. Since this joystick is a little bit too sensitive when controlling the laser turret, going to put a joystick extender on here so it's have more precise control when controlling it. And now we'll attach the joystick to a base so it doesn't fall over. And 
here's the upgraded joystick in action. All right, and that's where we'll leave the laser turret for today. Possible improvements in the future to get rid of these wires, make things wireless, and maybe some further uh, software to smooth out the control of this joystick. And let's see about the cat review rating. Eight out of 10, pretty solid score. Well, thanks everybody for watching. See you next time on Desktop Inventions.